What's going on, Dad Power? Welcome back to the new here and big hello to you. Be sure to press that big shine red button and join the Zap Power today. Today's video is something pre pretty fun. I recommended it from a friend, uh, Soul Star Sketch, and I was talking, I was struggling with ideas for this week, as I mentioned. And oh man, he, he, he brought this and it kind of came in conversation. I was like, what if you like drew characters? I'm like, I can't draw, but I can do this. So, I asked you guys to give me suggestions for your favourite Disney characters. And I've got them right here on my phone. And I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sort them out. It's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm dressed for the occasion. I told you I'm gonna wear this as much as possible. We're ready for the occasion. We're doing it. We're, we're, we're gonna sort these characters out. Anyone that has a YouTube channel is gonna get a shout out. Um, and anyone, and, and I'm, I'm like, I might mention people my names, I'm not too sure yet, but, I mean, hey, would it hurt? I don't know, I don't know, maybe, who knows, who knows. Anyhow, what I am going to do first is I'm going to just quickly remind you of the four houses and what their uh, characteristics are, and then we can dive right into the characters so let's let's get on to it i'm going to bring this up real quick okay so as you can see the first one is obviously gryffindor harry potter ron weasley and hermione granger's house from the books and the movies um the yeah like the the characteristics the traits and strengths we're looking at courage being daring and chivalry and strong moral compass. They are brave through and through. They will go head first, action first, think later. That is that is that is a Gryffindor in a nutshell, pretty much. Uh, next up, we're on to Hufflepuff, and their characteristics are loyalty, dedication, honesty, and humbleness. They are the true friends, the loyal, the ones that will stick you side by side and also have a little bit of a dark side as well you know they'll, they will hide a dead body for you hell they might even commit the murder at the same time hufflepuff are, are loyal through and through if you have hufflepuff in your life then you are, you should be grateful do not take it for granted because hufflepuffs are pretty pretty sweet they're pretty pretty good they're pretty good and then we come on to the best house the one the only Ravenclaw. Uh, they are intelligent. Or I sh rather, I should say, we are intelligent. We are curious, creative, and we are very individual in our own things. Like, we, we don't care what people think of us. We are creative in our own way. I'm creative with videos and, and storytelling. Um, I'm curious about the world. I am. I like when I go on, like, drives and walks and things like that i like to find those narrow weird paths and go down them see where they lead and intelligence as well i, I mean i am quite intelligent to be fair i don't show it but i am um and then we have slytherin who are ambitious cunning resourceful determined they they are the ones that will thrive for what they want. They will push forward and they won't stop until they get what they want. So, with all that being said, we are now on to the characters. So, the first the first character uh, that that I that I know of that I've got. So I'm doing a little notes here. Just one moment. Um, is from lefty lefty um a great a great guy has a, has a youtube channel uh silent whisper studios it's an art it's an art channel absolutely fantastic stuff please go and check him out all of the links will be in the description down below for you to go and check these amazing people out um so goofy one of the fab five from uh, mickey's original um, friends, Don, uh, Mickey, do Donald, Goofy, Minnie, and Daisy, and Pluto. 
the six, the sensational six. Um, Goofy is is friendly. He he always tries his best. He he is he is loyal to Donald and Goofy. I feel like Donald would be the better friend of Goofy because they're usually together most of the time. But you know. Mickey, uh, uh, Goofy himself, it is loyal. He he's hardworking. He's always trying to to work a way around to help everyone. And for that, I am going to sort him into Hufflepuff. He's loyal. You know, he he is he's kind. He's caring. He's loyal. He will help his friends no matter what. Even if he doesn't quite understand what's going on, he will always find a way to help him. Uh, to help his friends. So, Goofy, you are in Hufflepuff. Congratulations. Go and join your friends on the table. Um, next one is from Rover. My good old, my dearest Rover. And hers, two favourites are Mike and Sully. The inseparable duo from Monsters Inc. and Monsters Unit. And Monsters at Work, of course. The Disney Plus series. Um, but yeah. Mike and Sully have been through so much together. First, they were not friends in Monsters U, if you want to count it. I don't particularly, because it contradicts one singular line in Monsters U, uh, Monsters Inc. But, Monsters Inc, through and through, they are inseparable. They are best friends. Of course, they fight. Friends fight. Family fight. But, for the most part, they are there for everyone, no matter what, through thick and thin. And for that... They are brave. They 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 looked after Boo. They didn't know what they were doing, but they went in first. They didn't try and find a way to solve. They tried to find a way to solve it, and it just didn't work. So in the end, it was like, eh, we might as well just look after this kid. We'll be the dads for the time being, and and that's that. Uh, so with that, I am going to put Mike and Sully into Gryffindor. Because they're brave, they're chivalrous, they look they took this child, they took Boo under their wing and looked after them and they grew to love. And for that, that, that took a big a big step of bravery to do that. And through and through, I think they're a Gryffindor, the both of them, the pair, they will be inseparable once more. So guys, go and join the table. Um Next one from Mike and Zena. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys still have a channel. Do you? Because I'm not sure. Like, I miss you guys so much. Your, your content was so good. I mean, Mike, your your jokes were just so so good. So so good. And Zena, you uh, your artwork was amazing. I'm 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 kind of like reeling and getting it because like I miss you guys. I do. You you're one of my favourites and I like Zyke just is is so it's just derelict at the minute and I want you to make an ultimate comeback for 2022 so please please do it for me but they have given me some amazing amazing um characters here to sort out the first one being Belle we all know Belle Belle Beauty and the Beast she she is pretty much the whole package she's smart she's intelligent She's beautiful. She is the belle of the ball, so to speak. Um, and, you know, she is intelligent. She has, she loves to read. She loves being individual. She is creative with her, her wordplay, her, her artistry. And for that, she is a Ravenclaw. She is joining... The one true house. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being biased, but Belle is is a Ravenclaw. I mean, she has to be. She's individual. She don't care what anybody thinks of them. Even though people look at her and sneer and always make fun of her for reading, that she take she takes it. She she doesn't care what people think, and that's all that matters. She is a Ravenclaw through and through. Uh, Spike the bee. Now the these these next two ones from Mike and Zena are just hands. If you if you don't know like 
Disney World mascots, then these two are just completely like out of your ball game. Spike the Bee is from a uh, festival of uh, flower. Oh, what is it? The Flower Festival. Festival of the Flowers or something like that. I'll find it. I'll put it on screen. Uh, but Spike the Bee is the mascot for that festival. Along with the next one, I believe, as well. Possibly. Yeah. Spike the Bee. He is helpful. He's loyal. He helps everyone. He he um, he pollinates. He, he looks after the world. I mean, you can't be much more loyal than that, can you? So for that, Spike the Bee, I am a warning you. Hufflepuff House, congratulations. Um, and Orange Bird. Now, Orange Bird is super cute. Um, he, again, loyal. He he helps out. He is part of a festival. He is a kind, caring, collective soul. Again, Hufflepuff. Just Hufflepuff. Just them two Hufflepuffs are inseparable. I feel like they're from the same festival. I will double check. But... If not, then I'm wrong. I will hold my hand down. Okay, moving on. Another family, another family member. Uh, my auntie T. Um, she, we, we've known her for years, absolute years. I love her to bits. She's a great person. And her favorite character is Scar. Now, Scar is, if you don't know, the uncle of Simba from The Lion King. Of course you're gonna know that. I mean. You won't be watching this video if you didn't know who Scar was. I mean, come on now. Um, but yeah, Scar is ambitious. He he knows what he wants. He wants to be king of Pride Rock. He is determined. He is. He he wants it to be pure. He wants what he wants. He he's power hungry. Is what he is. And for that, I am awarding Scar Slytherin because, I mean, is there any other choice? Like. He's power hungry, he's ambitious, and he's straight up. I'm not saying Slytherin is evil in any way. This next sentence, please don't think that. But Scar is evil, and he deserves to be in the same house as the ones who have turned dark over the years. Tom Riddle. Um, I mean, Malfoy, Crab, Goyle. They, they were all... Death Eaters, like, they work for Voldemort, and, yeah, so, he, he deserves to have a seat at that table. Well, Slytherin is not a bad house, they just make bad choices. Please, I am I am a big fan of Slytherin, I have no hate towards the other houses, just hate towards the ones that became evil from Slytherin. Homie RJ has given me a few I got two suggestions actually. So, homie RJ, if you've not seen his channel, please. Again, links in the description. He is a fantastic content creator. He makes his own songs. He does some sick uh, gaming music videos. He plays a lot of like RPGs and fighting games. Just go and check him out. He is he is super. He is superb at what he does and i've known him for the longest time pretty much since we both started our channels together actually we pretty much started our channels together at the same time and we met and we've just we've just been mates since so homie rj thank you for the suggestions bro um first one kim possible kim possible now kim possible if you if you don't know kim possible it was Probably one of the best TV shows of the early 2000s. And she was insanely cool. She was like a secret agent whilst dealing with like high school. And she had a sidekick called Ron Stoppable. And his little naked mole rat. And oh, it was such such a good show. Little Rufus. Um, but yeah, Kim, Kim Possible. Um, she's brave. She's determined. She's chivalrous. You know where this is going. Gryffindor. Um, she is um, hands down probably just probably one of the easiest to actually like do out of this list. She she speaks for herself. Like she she's a secret agent. Every secret agent would probably be in Gryffindor. Um, but anyhow, moving on. 
to the next one. There, in the big blue house. Oh my gosh, what, what a throwback. There in the big blue house was like, hands down, one of the greatest, like, TV shows that ever lived. Like, oh my days, like, please and thank you, yes. Oh, amazing. Um, but he, you know, he's he's warming, he's loyal, he's supportive. He invites us into our into his home for the day, and we just couldn't be thankful enough. And for that, I am awarding Bear in the Big Blue House, Hufflepuff. Just he's loyal. He he's so friendly and warm. I just want to give him a hug, like pretty much. If you want to give anyone a hug, they're probably a Hufflepuff. Let's let's be real. Let's be real. They wouldn't be partial to it either, you know what I mean? Like, they probably would be like, probably walk around like this all day. Like, here's a hug. Cool. Here's a hug. Here's a hug. Dr. G from Common Goblin Gaming, another fantastic channel. A duo channel. Brother and sister, Dr. G and Matt. Super channel. Please go and check them out. They play a lot of, like, itch.io, like, horror games. They do, like, couch play kind of split screen kind of stuff or if they're not doing split screen they are like playing a game and like dual commentary it's an amazing it, it's it's a throwback to to early gaming it really is it's like when you went into your mate's house and he was excited for this new game and uh you you wanted to play it because you didn't have it so you went around to your friend's house and they play it and you just played it together for hours and hours that that's what it feels like when you watch uh, a common goblin gaming video Anyhow, Dr. G, her favourite is the dresser from Beauty and the Beast. Now, probably like the most obscure character on this list, but the more obscure the better, it makes my job harder. Um, and I, <clears throat> I was looking at this picture hands down for about 10 minutes and I was like, I mean, what, what would it be? What would it be? I was a toss up between Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. I mean, they're loyal to print to the prince, the beast. You know, they they want to help, but they're also brave for actually like trying to help and chivalrous for for going through with it in a, in a in a way. So at this point, I'm like, I, I've solidly put my answer down as a Gryffindor. That's what I'm going with because I mean, just. just how how brave he was to actually like oh they were I don't know if it's a boy or a girl but how brave they were to like pick it up and and like there's a little bat and <laughs> just honestly wholeheartedly that was just one of those things that I just had to do um, and yeah so Gryffindor for for the little dresser guy um, yeah so that's that Moonfox GG um, gave me four suggestions and th this is going to be a hard one moon fox gg is, is a great channel please go and check her out again links are in the description first one we're going for is simba the son of mufasa nephew to scar we we've already started scar now it's time for simba my thing with simba is is i went through this and i was like okay simba is uh he left he left he, he, he thought he killed his dad okay like that's what scar made him believe and then he and then he, he ran away. He ran away. Until he was ready. Now I'm looking at I'm looking probably looking at the future Simba of when he's a little bit older and he's ready to become king. That's what I'm looking at. It took him a while to get there. But he he is ambitious. He was, you know, he, he wanted what was right for everybody else. And you might not agree with this, but I am gonna put him here and slither him. Because of his ambitious, because of his ambitiousness, his determination, um, and and you know he overthrew Scar of Pride Rock. He he did it. That that's that's a power struggle. He he you know he was power hungry for what he wanted. He wanted what was right for everyone. He went around it. He went about it in a roundabout way, swings and roundabouts. But you know he did it. He went and got it. And for that, I'm putting him in Slytherin. So. Yeah, that's that. Uh, next one, Mulan. Mulan, of course, Mulan is just a fantastic character. Uh, hands down, 
Um, and, 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 and you know, she, she slayed the Huns, she defeated thousands of them. She became a princess because of what she did, because of her, uh, 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 who? She became a princess because of, of her act of bravery for her country. And hands down, she is brave, she is chivalrous, she did what was right, she did what was needed. She's a Gryffindor. She's a Gryffindor. That is, uh, that, that is what it is. The next one is Isabella. Isabella. Um, from Encanto. Now, I've just recently watched Encanto. I had to because it it was on my list to watch, and I was like, okay, now that I've got this character here, I need to watch it. Like, I need to see what Isabella is like. And yeah, ha hands down, it, it it this was probably one of the toughest because I've only seen it once. I need to watch it again to get like a, a better understanding of all the characters, but. First impressions. I loved Encanto. It was, it wasn't my, it was, it's probably my top ten, but like low top ten. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe do a review on it in the next couple of weeks. Keep your eyes open, and maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just review um, movies. I don't know. Anyhow, that's not what we're talking about. Isabella. Um, it took me a while to understand her character. A little bit. Danger. Danger. Sorry, spoilers if you've not watched Encanto just yet. There are going to be spoilers here. Um, but she was expected to be the perfect daughter. The perfect granddaughter. And she couldn't be herself. She couldn't express her true colours. But when she did... She, she she let it all out. And for that, for that, because of that individuality and that creativity and that the fact that she was able to come out of her own shell, I am going to put her in Ravenclaw. Um, because of the individuality and throughout the movie, she was able to showcase what she really wanted as the movie progressed and who she really was towards the end and that's what Ravenclaw is all about, to be your one true self, to be your individual self, to be who you want to be and not have anyone tell you different. Um, and then the last one from Moonfox is Ariel, the little mermaid, of course, the redhead mermaid of the sea. We love her. We do. We do. We love, we love Ariel. We do. But what house is she in? Let's see. She wanted to go where the people are. She wanted to see them dancing and what do you call it? With a feet, you know? She, that's what she wanted. She wanted to be part of their world. And did she do it? She did. She disobeyed everything everyone said. And she went for what she wanted. She was ambitious for what she wanted. She was hungry for it. She wanted it. She was. She was. She wanted what she wanted. So we know where this is going. She's a Slytherin, hands down. I mean, yeah. I mean, she's she's ambitious. She was cunning. She she made <clears throat> she made that scenario her own. <clears throat> um, she had a couple of struggles. She's not the best at being resourceful, but she was determined. She knew what she wanted. She wanted Prince Eric. She got Prince Eric. That that is that is that is what happened and she's she's got it. She got what she wanted. And you can't you can't deny that she's a Slytherin. I mean you can. But hey, it's my video, my opinions. I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyhow, moving on to the next one and the last. Moving into the Star Wars universe. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. The big nine foot Wookiee, or whatever he was, seven foot something Wookiee from um, the, 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 the place where they live. I don't, know, I don't know enough about Star Wars, but I do know Chewbacca. He's fluffy. He will rip your arms out if, you know, you let him. Um, and, I don't know if I'm following away. Um, and he, he, he is determined. He is loyal. He is... 
brave. He, is, he does not care what anybody thinks. He is... He's like... It's, it's, it's a cross between a Gryffindor and a Hufflepuff. And it's a very fine line, I feel like, with those two houses. Like, loyalty can shift to bravery and vice versa. Bravery can shift to loyalty. But I am going to put him in Gryffindor. I'm going to put him in Gryffindor because of his bravery, his chivalrous. He's also very loyal. He's bash-headed. He, he wants... He wants what's right for everybody, but also for himself. So, with that, Chewbacca is a Gryffindor. I just want to say a huge thank you to you all. This was such a fun video. I really enjoyed, like, delving into, like, the houses and, and trying to figure this out. Um, and it was super fun. I really did enjoy it. A big thank you to Soul Scar, oh, Soul Star Sketching for the initial idea. I've just put my own little twist on it. Um, and I hope you did enjoy this video. If you have not done so already, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Zap Pack. Um, a lot of a lot of videos like this and, and other video, I don't know, variety vlogging, as I like to call it. Um, we, we do a lot here, we do a lot here. But yeah, it's, it's been very Disney, Harry Potter, heavy this week all good I, i'm all right with that you're probably all right with that otherwise you wouldn't be watching what is going on with my row i don't know but yeah um i've really enjoyed this video it's been super fun i i have like i said i've really enjoyed diving into the characters figuring out their their quirks their their where they would fit with with everything uh, and and it just, it felt cool to to do it, um, and I really 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 enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So yeah, a big uh, a big thank you to everyone for your suggestions. All of your links will be down below. Please go and check them all out. They are all amazing content creators. They deserve your love. That's your your time to watch some of your videos. And yeah, so thank you so much for that. Um, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Until then, much love. Stay classy, Zap Pack.